oh, you know what? No matter what I'm gonna do, I'm always gonna still be me. Mm -hmm. And if you think you hurt me, you didn't. Hello, Pepsters! I'm Teen Bailon. And I'm Kim Manalo. This is Pep Spotlight. Joining us today is my girl, the one, the only, Angie Salvation. Hi, Angie. Hello. Hello, Kim. And hello, my girl. And. Hi, Pepsters. Okay, I'm gonna behave na. So, yung ano, energy, tapos. Oh, Pantayan tayo dito. Ayan, pero didiretso na tayo agad. Gusto ko lang balikan, um, bago itong naging um, success story mo sa industry, paano ka ba nagsimula bago ka makapasok sa industry? I really came in a humble beginning eh. It, it was a humble beginning kasi I remember before, I just only sing sa church namin. And then, there's this one day, may pakonte sa Siargao, which my mom forced me to join. Nagkaway pa kami ito ni mommy kasi ayaw ko talaga. And I was so afraid. I, I, I was so fearful and so shy to like show everyone uh, my voice. It's because, you know, hindi kasi lahat kasi nakaka-appreciate kasi sa bosses ko before. And when I remember when I auditioned, nashook ako na nakuha ako. And mas nashook ako na nag-top three ako. So that was my humble beginning. And starting from there sa Pogjo sa Siargao, um, they really mold me then, uh, um, you know, to take further steps. Uh, so, yun, after nun, um, year pass, years passed by, nag-audition ako sa Idol Philippines. And even way before sa Idol Philippines, nag-audition pa ako sa other na in auditionan ko lahat. Nung, alam mo yung sa 737 ng PBB before, I auditioned yung batch nila ni Ati Maymay, pero hindi ako nakuha. Nag-audition din ako that same year sa The Voice, pero hindi ako nakuha. Nag-audition din ako the same year para sa Star Circle Quest, pero di natuloy. Tapos, um, nag-audition din ako sa TNT, pero di din ako nakuha. Before, before yan yung ano, before nag-Idol Philippines, yun muna yung in-auditionan ko. And then, 2019, I took another risk na to audition. Tapos, nung gusto ko na mag-audition nung sa Idol Philippines, it was in Siargao, it was held in Siargao, may hinal silang audition sa Siargao, pero di ako naka-habol kasi may exam kami. So, it was quite a journey. Gabi, talagang stinori ko, no? Correct. Okay lang naman? Oo, oh, okay lang. <laughs> it just shows, Angie, na ang daming rejections, ang daming hindrance, yeah. ang daming challenges sa pinagdaanan. Yes. Na hindi na nalaman ng tao bago ka makarating sa kung nasan ka ngayon. Oo. Oh, oh. And now, you're sharing your album to the public, di ba? And ito na nga yung gusto natin mapag-usapan ngayon. Yes. What is your inspiration ba while creating your latest album, Grit? My inspiration, so kwento ko lang din na tinanong lang ako ni Sir Rox kung ano ba yung uh, gusto kong i-title sa EP. And then I asked him for a moment na, Sir Rox, can you give me a while to think for a um, a title? Because it's really hard to choose. So I, And I asked him then to send me the songs already, na yung complete mix, so that I will be able to hear it more. Mm -hmm. So when I listen to the song, the longer that I listen to it and the more that I listen to it, I fell in love to each and every songs. So, don ko din na realize na, you know what? Before ko na isip yung grit, para siyang, it's like a story. It's like a book. And each of the songs are the chapters. And when I listen to it, there there is betrayal. Oh, first, there is falling in love. Mm -hmm. Second, there is betrayal. And then, Two, there's picking yourself up, making yourself a masterpiece, you know, rising from the dead. Parang ganun. Parang rising from the heartbreak. And then acceptance. And then there's, there's this part where, na, oh, you know what? No matter what I'm gonna do, I'm always gonna still be me. Mm -hmm. And if you think you hurt me, you didn't. So, don't ko na isip na, oh, grit is such an amazing title to you know, name an EP. And grit kasi, um, it means kasi na, you know, having that indomitable spirit and 
you know, being that person that was not easily to be bring down and not easily to be defeated. So that's why I I named it grit. And for me, grit, I put an acronym to it too. I put a meaning to each each letter. So yun lang yung din yung gusto ko din share sa iba if you don't know. So parang naging ano ko din siya yung core ko nandoon. So G stand for stands for being grateful all the time. R for resilience. Mm-hmm. I for integrity, the humility, you should have that all the time. And T naman for being tough. You have to be tough kasi life is not going to be easy to you. A life is never gonna be easy for you. Kasi ganun naman talaga, we're humans and you know, the constant thing that we have in this world is change. And in order for us to fill up that gap is to, you know, learn every day and be tough every day. You have to be a fighter. Gusto ko, maaalala ko ng tao as Angie Salvacion, the conveyor. Alam mo yung the conveyor. Ang alam mo lang conveyor belt. 